in my view, we're going to have to go back to the basics in terms of why governments exist in the first place. Governments exist to ensure that the environment within which we all operate are a conducive environment. Mm. And I think that is just the long and short of it. That is what government in this country is going to have to do. Allow me to, to elaborate in the following way. You see, conditions for people to prosper are not God-given. They are created. They are created through macroeconomic policy. We coming as a nation into an environment where 80% of the population have been deliberately left mm. out of the economic mainstream. So how do you intentionally ensure that they participate in the economic mainstream. You do that through ensuring that the policies that you have in the country are going to make the shift towards that direction. You see, until and unless we have macroeconomic policies in this country that are going to change the social and economic patterns in this country, then unfortunately nothing is going to change. My worry is that we didn't clearly define the problem statement when we got into this democracy thing. I don't think we knew what it is that we were solving for. Let me give you this ugly example. The National Party government, when they took over in 1948, they are very clear that the problem statement that they were trying to define was the poor Africana problem. They created the ITC, the SASO. You know, they gave farmers agricultural subsidies to ensure that they were very clear Transnet. when all is transnet, when all is said and done, we don't want to see a poor Africana. Now, have we defined what it is that we're trying to achieve as this ANC government? And my view is that if we had, we wouldn't be sitting here where we have just overtaken Brazil as the most unequal economy in the world, where the unemployment is sitting at its highest, where business confidence has plummeted to a 20-year low, and where we are seeing, you know, the, 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 the gap between the haves and the have-nots. And unfortunately for me, this is no longer about black and white. It's about the haves and the have-nots, right? And unfortunately, as the haves, we are way outnumbered. The have-nots are much, much more.